My name is Jill Barnes and I'm studying um, the PGC Dettles course, a teaching course. I also teach health and social care at Cornwall College, which is in St Austell. I chose to do um, the PGCE because um, I have children and though I have a dietetics degree, I wanted to actually work um, in the local area so that I could have a work-life balance. My name is Guy Fraser Wright. I'm on the full-time PGC Dettles initial teacher training course here. Um, I did an undergraduate degree at the University of Plymouth in a, which was a Bachelor of Music. I'm Kelly Hancock and I'm on the full-time Dettles course here at Cornwall College St Austell doing the PGC and my subject specialist area is photography. Uh, previous to this course I studied at University College Falmouth on the press and editorial photography course which when I started was a brand new course introduced that year so I was the first cohort to graduate from that last summer. Um, the course has been very beneficial in all areas because having previously having a photographic background this has enabled me to be able to teach however we've studied um, a new module that's being introduced throughout the um, Cornwall College and University of Plymouth which is the ICE module and that is embedding soft skills into the learners so not only do they um, learn the subject areas that they're going to for their A levels but they're also getting these soft skills that employers are looking for. So it actually stands for Innovation and um, Creativity and Enterprise. Uh, what it does is it allows learners to explore but first of all the teachers have to explore as well so for something that you would be delivering uh, you have to set it out in a totally different way so that it's an, envir an environment where the learners can actually learn from their own actions but first of all it means that the teacher has to let go of control and they have to provide a very well rounded experience for the learner. Now for me it was, uh, it, was, it was a little bit of a revelation learning that they, these higher education courses were taught at Cornwall College, something that I didn't know um, before looking into, into teaching whilst at the University of Plymouth. Yeah, I was surprised actually at the number of courses that you can do. I think any subject that you would like to do, it's available at one of the colleges in Cornwall and the combined universities. If, if people are thinking of studying elsewhere across the country, I would tell them to actually consider Cornwall um, and studying here because sort of the, the amount of higher education courses that are now being run here that are full-time and, and full courses rather than um, foundation degrees and specialty teacher training, I would recommend that people consider working, uh, studying here before considering studying elsewhere. It's the kind of decisions that you have to make possibly when you're older and you're coming back into education is that you have to balance everything up so you have to think very very carefully make sure that you're very clear about what you're trying to achieve why you're doing it how much the cost is going to be that you have support networks around you that know what kind of challenges they're going to be and Fortunately, at Cornwall College, they do offer quite a lot of facilities to be able to give you advice as well and support you because you can find in other environments, because you're older, that they expect you to know all the answers, but they seem to be used to more adult learners at Cornwall College, but that's what I found in my experience. What I like about studying in Cornwall is Cornwall is such a beautiful place. Um, it's, the scenery is absolutely stunning, but it differentiates over um, the whole county. And it's amazing just sort of the diversity of learners that you will meet within the college environment um, and, and teaching staff as well. So there, there really is like a tapestry of life. And I've just actually found that really inspiring.